What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Duke Caribbean Life's a Beach. This is the final level, the alien remains, starting off with 76 kills and five secrets. We're going to go down and head back here. We're going to have a couple of troopers over here to kill. And then watch out for the sentry drone. This would be another sentry drone and a pig cop just around the corner here. Take out some more enemies. I'm just going to clear out this room. And somehow that got blown up. That was weird. I don't know how the pig cop managed that. Alright, before we head up there, we're actually going to grab stuff here and we're going to head into... The little spot here that got blown up. Let's turn on our night vision goggles so we can see the octo brains underwater. Let's grab some goodies. Oh. Got some more enemies right there shooting at us. Alright, let's head up to the surface. Turn off the night vision goggles and we'll take out the troopers up here. Alright, let's hop up here. There's going to be a switch right here we need to hit. It's going to open up a spot up there. But first, let's take out this sentry drone. And then we'll hop up there for secret number one. Watch out for some octo brains and eggs around the corner. Let's head back into the water over here. We can enter the little pipe here to get back inside. All right, we're gonna have a sentry drone around the corner. Take out the enemies inside here. We'll hit this switch. Turn on the lights. This switch is going to open up a spot back over here. Alright. We're going to keep making our way through the hallway here. Watch out for the sentry drones that pop out of the sides here. There's going to be one more in that spot. Let's actually grab the ammo here, take out the troopers, and we can blow up that wall right there. It's going to have a pearl health behind it. We're not going to grab that though. We're at 191. Alright, we got two directions we can go. We can either go down or we can go up. We're going to head down. Take out the commander and the troopers in this room. Alright, we want to hop inside here. There's going to be a switch that we can hit. It's going to open up a spot right there. And then another switch. We're just going to lower that. We're just going to let that lower while we head up here. Throw a couple of pineapples. And we're going to hit this switch right here. We're just going to open up some stuff down below. Take out the trooper. And luckily, we actually shot the correct switch there. If you hit the incorrect one, an inflatable guy is going to spawn in. 
but you can tell what ones to hit by this right here. So we got two of these, and then the middle one here, and that's going to open up this. And it's also going to open up the red key card. First, let's head inside here for secret number two. And let's get the voodoo ring out so we can take out these commanders really easily. And we'll head up here. We're going to have some troopers to take out. And we can grab the red key. And we'll use the red key down here. It's going to open up this spot here, but we still need the blue key to get through the door. So let's head back. And we're going to head up instead of down. Take out some troopers and some pig cops. And then get out the contronator because we're going to have two battle lords here to take out. Around the corner here is going to be a couple of sentry drones. Three switches here. Hit all three switches. And you'll see these little things out here will start to move. They're going to create patterns. You want to make sure to remember what these patterns are. And head around here. Some more troopers and sentry drones. head up here and this is where you're going to want to remember those patterns so we had this one here this yellow one and this green one and that's going to open up this spot right here spawn in some enemies and it's also going to open up the blue key card all right before we head up there there's a little switch hit that switch and it's going to open up this it's going to shoot out a shrinker and we're going to head underneath this door for secret number three. Let's just hang out here, wait to regrow. And then we can grab some goodies. There's nothing in the water, so don't worry about going down there. Open this up, and it's going to lead directly to the blue key card. Alright, now we have some enemies that we have to take out. And we're going to head back taking out all the enemies Let's head back down. Let's actually go all the way down. We're going to grab... Oh, we grabbed that pearl health. Alright, grab the congenator. Let's head back to the blue door here. Now we can go inside. Watch out for the octo brains. Head inside here for secret number four. And open the back for secret number five. We're going to open these up. Head into the teleporter. And there's a bunch of ammo. And some armor here. Alright, we're going to head inside here. We're going to hear some sentry drones. But there aren't actually any enemies. There are two enemies that I found that are... You're unable to kill them. I have a feeling that these sentry drones might be part of it. Unless it's just a sound. But there are definitely two enemies I can never seem to find to kill. 
So unfortunately, we're not going to get that 100% kills. Because as far as I can tell, there's no way to get 100% kills on this level. Alright, let's hit this switch. Pull out the Conchinator. Head into the little party here. That spot's going to open up. And when we go over there, the Cycloid Emperor is going to spawn in. It's going to be the final boss of the level. We'll take out all these enemies. And then just start firing away at the Cycloid Emperor. And down he goes. And that is going to be it for Duke Caribbean Life's a Beach. We got as many kills as we could, and we got all the secrets for the level. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to play. Make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe as it really helps out. And I'll see you guys next time.